G'day everyone, I'm Jazza and I'm delighted that today my channel has been stolen by Thriller Art. For context, this is part of seven days where my channel is dedicated to sharing awesome channels of up and coming art YouTubers. So if you wanna see the other videos I've shared, go check out the links in the description and stay tuned for more to come. But today, Thriller Art is our centerpiece. And I'm really particularly excited about this one for a couple of reasons. First off, this is a very new YouTube channel with, as of recording this video, under 300 subscribers. But on top of that, this is someone who, if you go through their history, you can see seven months ago or thereabouts, they they thought, I'm gonna do this YouTube thing. I'm an artist and I wanna, I wanna make art on YouTube. And boy, have they done it. In the last seven months, they have been consistent, made great, ever improving video content. You can see that their thumbnails have gotten better, their topics have become really interesting, and the fact that they've had under 300 subscribers for seven months hasn't deterred the ever-improving quality of the videos and the work ethic that is really clear here. There's huge potential for this channel to really skyrocket and be a fantastic future YouTube channel, and I'm really hoping that this video plays a part in that because the video that they created is right up my alley. I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm just gonna let this one speak for itself, so take it away. Thriller. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name's Kyle and welcome to a very special episode of Thriller Art. Now on my channel we have a series that we call Ink or Stink. This is where we take everyday objects that you wouldn't ordinarily think about to use in artwork and we try to use them as interesting tools to ink our artwork and we've used dental lathe burrs, we've used kudu horns, and we've used an electric drill, which I'm sorry to say did not work at all. Now some of you might remember when we inked this epic afro. This video is actually my most successful video up to date with, I think at the time of recording this is 229 views. Yeah, we almost broke the internet with that video. But in today's video, we're going to ink a very similar piece to this one. In the spirit of epic Afro art and ink or stink, we are going to ink another Afro using this. This is a blow dart gun. And blow dart guns usually shoot really pointy needles. But I won't be using needles for this artwork. I'm gonna be using these plastic slugs or pellets. And shot by shot, we're going to see if we can ink an epic Afro using a blow dart gun. That's right, there's no time to lose, so I picked up the gun, started shooting, and not even five shots in, and I run into my first problem. As thick as this paper is, it still won't hold up to all of the shots we're gonna put on it, so I had to stop and make a makeshift wall. After slipping the wall behind the paper, I plinked down another 100 and my reaction was, I've got a bleeping long way to go. After every 100 shots, I would pick up the pellets. All right, so here's how it looks like after 1,000 shots. It's starting to take shape. 
But as you can see, we've got a long way to go. So I just noticed something looking at this more closely. I figured out early on that I could punch holes through this paper pretty easily. So I've just been kind of lobbing them through the blow dart gun. But half of these things actually have tears in them as well. Little small ones. So even though that's not a big problem right now, that could be a potentially big problem if I plug 10,000 more of these suckers in there. With Jazz's afro starting to take shape, I started to get more confident in my shooting ability. That is until... Oh no! <laughs> Shoot! Crap. Okay. Shoot, I just killed Jazza. Another hundred pellets shot, another hundred pellets picked up. And then I ran into a new problem. A bunch of ink spackle getting all over Jazza. And now I'm regretting not taping him off before. So I stopped, grabbed some masking tape, and made him look like a Smurf in mummy bandages. Time doing anything else besides shooting is time lost. So I quickly got back to work. So I'm on day six of this thing, and I'm really tired. It's really starting to catch up to me all these late nights. I don't know if it's the lack of sleep or maybe it's too much exposure to ink. I'm close to getting done. <sighs> Just gotta keep grinding. And keep grinding I did, well into the night and early morning. So, I didn't realize how long this was gonna take, and I'm really nervous this is, that I'm not gonna finish. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. <sighs> but after eight days, a bit of my luck changed. I turned the pellet upside down and realized if I shot it close, I could get a very nice ink splat and this saved me a lot of time. Finally, after two weeks and countless face washes, a whole box and a half of nitrile gloves, three small bottles of ink, and even a half pint, three shirts and a sacrificial pair of pants, a pair of shoes, and over 25,000 shots later, I finally finished.
gonna do it for this epic Afro art with a blow dart. And I admit it could probably use five, 10,000 more shots, but I'm not gonna do that. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna give a special thanks to my family, first and foremost. Kids, daddy's coming home tonight. <laughs> A big thank you to my family, those of you who helped me make this, I cannot thank you enough. You know who you are, thank you so much. And a huge thank you to Jazza for putting on this awesome competition for us newer YouTubers. And uh, Jazza, if you watch this, thank you so much again, and I hope you consider using this for the Win Your Channel contest. And we'll see you later. I have to admire Thriller Art's willingness to opt in to pain to entertain myself and you. I respect that. I, I, it hurts me to watch because I know how much time and effort that would have been, but by golly, that was a fun thing to watch. Anyway, the point is, if that video is any indication as to the future of Thriller Art's YouTube channel and also a showcase of how far he has come in his presentation and art and ambition, boy oh boy are you in for a treat in the future. So I'd encourage you to do what I'm doing, go over to Thriller Art and click subscribe. Now is an opportunity to blow someone's expectations out of the water. Go watch some of his video content and leave a little bit of love. Like a video, leave a comment on something you admire about his work or one of the videos you enjoyed, and maybe even share it with someone you think might enjoy it. I can't even tell you how much fun it is to just focus on giving back because you guys have just made my dreams come true and the amazing thing is we have the power together to do that for others and I'm really hoping Thriller Art is blown out of the water by the way we're able to showcase and show a little bit of love to his channel and his YouTube ambitions in this video. Anyways I want to thank you for watching, thank Thriller Art of course for drinking ink for us and our entertainment and uh, I want you to let me know in the comments if you think I would look good with an afro. I'm seriously um considering it right now. Thank you for watching this video. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.